Sorry. In this video, we're going to talk about area. All right. An area is in units squared or square units. So it would be unit squared, square units. It would be centimeter squared or square centimeters. It would be meter squared or square meters. Okay? Now, I'm going to turn this over, and we are going to look at finding the area using... Oh, this is going to be a great thing here. Let's see if I can flip this on and that helps. Maybe. Um, okay. It's got a little shadow in it, but it'll work. All right? So we're going to talk about finding the area of two figures that I have here simply with my geoboard. Okay? Notice that the geoboard is sideways pegs. Okay? And when I look at this, we know that finding the area of a square is just length by width. Or in this case, just count the pegs. Okay? So I have one, two, three, four pegs. One, two, three. Okay? So this is a three by four or a 12 unit squared rectangle. Okay, this one is a 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or a 10 square unit rectangle. Now, the easiest thing to do is think about counting the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's all area is. It's just simply counting up the squares. Now, that said, I can make triangles and I can make all different kinds of figures. Now, I'm going to move my Gia board because it's easier for me on the overhead to do a Gia board looking like this. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to talk just a minute about what does this figure look like. Okay? So what would the area of this piece be right here? Alright? If the area of this is one by one or one, when I cut it in half and make it look like this, it's half of the original area or one half. Okay? Now, if I take over here and look at this picture, this is one and this is one, so that's two units squared. And if I were to cut it in half, then that means that the dimension, that the area of this piece is one because when I put this area with it, it has to be two. Okay? Now let's look at this piece down here. Alright? The area of this is one, two, three, because I have three squares. So over here, if I cut that piece that's three squares in half, half of that would be 1.5. Okay? So even though we can't figure out how much each piece is here by taking a look at this, I can look at it in terms of three squares because I know that if I have from here to here, this big rectangle is cut in half. And if it's three squares and I cut it in half, it's 1.5. Okay? So, let's know that. Let's take a look at and see what we have with this figure here on the top. Okay, let's zoom in just a little bit so we're looking at just that. Okay. Now, so we got a problem here. This is kind of different, isn't it? Okay? So here's what we need to do. 
this is not just one set of rows. This is three. So if I were to complete this rectangle here, okay, that would have one, two, three times four, or 12 square units. And I'm just going to call it u squared. Okay, it'd have 12 units squared. But it's a triangle, so it's only half that. So this is really six units squared. Okay? Now let's look at the one on the bottom. This one is one, two, three, four units, half of it. So this one is actually two units squared. Okay? And that's how we're going to do for all of this. Except, I give you a figure that looks like this, and it's a little bit different. So what I want to do now is I want to break this into pieces that I can actually find the area of. So I'm going to break it into whole pieces and parts. All right, so first of all, I look at this right here, and I know I'm going to label those one, because I know they're one. And this is a whole one here. Here are whole ones here. Okay? So basically, I know that. Now I have to look at the pieces that I have cut off here. So this piece then, this whole piece here would be two. So that this piece right here is one. And again, same thing true up here. This whole piece here would be two. So I'm cutting it in half, so this is one. Now, this whole piece here is one. I cut it in half, so this is one half. So to find that area, all I do is count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a half. So this is 9.5 units squared. Okay? Now. Let's take a look at something that's a little more difficult. All right, so I'm going to zoom in just so we can look at what we're going to try to do now is we're going to have to find the area of each of this in pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. So if this whole thing is three, then this one is one. And this whole thing is four, is two times three or six, so this one is three. All right. Um, let's see. I know that this is one, and then I have this piece here. This is two, so this is one. And then down here I have a weird one. That whole piece would be 3 times 2, or 6, so this piece is 3. Now it's going to be a matter of counting up. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 over, and 1, 2, 3 down. So this big piece right here, this rectangle, is 33. Okay, now I'm going to plug in this, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 20. This one is 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 15. So now all I have to do is add. So I've got 33 plus 20, plus 15, and then I'm going to add up all my little ones. So I have 3, 4, 5, and 3 is 8, and 1 is 9. Okay, so when I add these up, I have 3 and 5 is 8, and 9 is 17, 3 and 3 is 6, and 1 is 7. So this figure is 77 units squared. Again, all you're doing is trying to pick up 
and figure out what each piece that's a part of one is. Okay? And just know that you look at the whole piece, see how many it is, which would be three. I cut it in half because anytime I do a diagonal, it cuts it in half. So then you would divide that. Okay? Oh, did you see my mistake? That's three pieces cut in half, not in thirds. So this really should be three pieces divided by two or 1.5. So this actually should be 77.5 units squared. Okay? I make mistakes just like you all do. Alright, now let's take a look at finding the area of my circle. Okay, so the area of the circle is back to that pi formula again, but this time it's different. It has a square. So if you're trying to figure out the formula, C equals 2 pi r, but area is pi r squared. It's just like the unit. So let's say that the diameter is 14. The diameter is 14 and my directions tell us that we want to find the area exactly. So area equals pi times r squared. Okay, and pi times r squared and we'll put it in the different, the other order so that pi is out by itself. And then we'll have to multiply 14 times 14 so that area is equal to 196 pi. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Let's say I want to know um, an approximate area by using the approximation 22 over 7 for pi. Alright, so all I'm going to do is do 196 over 1 times 22 over 7. Okay? Now, 7 into 196, 196 divided by 7 is 28, so I'm going to do that to begin with, and then 28 times 22 equals 616, and if this is centimeters, centimeters squared, or 616 square centimeters. Okay? So, any way you go about it, we can find the exact area, which is 196 pi, or the approximate area, which is 616 square centimeters.